guys, Isabella. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be an online school essentials video. I got inspiration um, or inspired to do this video by um, this YouTuber that I watch. I've actually wanted to do um, videos like this for a long time now regarding like online school. But, and that's just because I am generally an on a fully online student at my community college and in the fall at UNT at University of North Texas. I'm inspired by um, this YouTuber right here and I'll leave her name there. I don't remember it right now but I love her channel and so she inspired me so thank you so much for inspiring me to do this video. Without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in but before I do, if you're new to my channel, hi I'm Isabella, welcome, I really hope you stick around. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications that way you are notified and you never miss another upload from me. I typically upload every Friday, however I've been taking an online class at my community college and so my schedule lately hasn't been on Fridays and I'm super sorry about that. I'm trying my best to get videos out at least once a week so I can keep up with uploading once a week for that schedule. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They will be somewhere on the screen. Not sure where, probably here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. We all know that like for online school and online classes, everyone obviously needs a laptop or a computer or computer access. I have my Mac, like I just showed you. This is my MacBook 13, my MacBook Pro 13 inch with retina without the touch bar and I love this so much. It's the 2018 model. Depending on your major, you want to make sure you have the right computer because like I know like some engineering majors or like more like science or math heavy majors might need like a PC. So definitely keep that in mind because you don't want to go out there and buy like a Mac for example and then your major might be something that you completely don't need access to a Mac for. You know what I mean? Just save your money and make sure you know like what kind of computer and operating system you need. If y'all have been watching me for a while, you know how much I love my Erin Condren planner. This is mine. So this is my Erin Condren life planner. It has my name on it. And this just keeps me really organized. I really like this type of planner a lot. In my back to school giveaway that I uploaded I think last week, um, I am giving away a day designer. As you can tell, my planner is like really thick. Not really thick, but it's like decently sized. And then also, some cute pens I figured. I love writing in my planner with different pens. These are just the ones I bring like in my backpack to write in my planner. The third thing I would say is like comfy clothes. Literally, I wear comfy clothes basically all the time. I like basically live in comfy clothes already. So um, that means like comfy clothes, like loungewear, leggings, sweatpants, joggers like whatever you want to wear that makes you feel comfortable like Nike shorts I know it's about to be like fall in a little bit like in a few months but um so whatever makes you comfortable like sweatshirts hoodies like quarter zip Amazon has cute stuff I saw some really cute stuff at Walmart recently and Target obviously has cute stuff too and it's all pretty affordable so definitely get yourself some warm and cozy clothes so that way you're not in your pajamas when you're doing your homework because then it's really hard to concentrate and I speak from experience because I used to do that because I was homeschooled for a little bit and I used to just wear my pajamas and do my homework and do my classwork and stuff it was a lot harder if I didn't change out of my pajamas and like take a shower and get dressed and everything right away okay so the next thing I wanted to talk about are face masks and this is mine I'm not gonna put it on right now because I have chapstick on and it's kind of annoying if you have chapstick. But I got this one from a boutique and I don't remember where, but this is by the brand So So In Love, like S-E-S-E-W, like I'm sewing. But this is like really cute. But this is really cute, I absolutely love this. It came with a pack of three for only like $16. Um, really recommend getting these. These cover my mouth and my nose obviously they kind of slip but not all the time it just depends i guess on the weather but i highly recommend getting some face masks i mean they are required in the state of texas to wear masks the next thing on my list are blue light glasses and i also showed these in my um what's in my backpack video so these are from key and these are my um blue light glasses i have another pair like this and they're not key but these are actually not that tight on me these are a little dirty, so I'm sorry if you can see that, but these protect my eyes from, um, you know, all of the, the blue light from, that comes from, like, all your electronics, really. 
Um, I'm trying to start wearing them when I'm watching TV at night just to like because I've been doing non-stop online classes for the past almost five weeks. It's almost over. Like I only have like one week and a few days left of that class. But I've been getting a lot of migraines lately, so um those blue light glasses help it generally help me a lot when I'm like doing normal classes. So like, I use those glasses for that. But on uh, if you have a Mac that's relatively new, there's a feature called night shift on your uh, settings on like the notifications tab that's like underneath the do not disturb thing or it might be on top but it's like on that same little part where you can go and it can change the tint of the lighting on your screen so it won't just be like super white tinted it'll be like yellow tinted so that also helps if you don't want to wear glasses like this all the time or if you just want to like have that extra protection if you're wearing them or if you don't even have any yet then that's a good tip i just thought i'd throw that out there right, the next thing i have on my list are some noise canceling headphones and now these are my beats solo i think they're solo three wireless yeah and these are like in their gold color um these i need to get fixed i mentioned in one of my other videos that these are actually broken on one side. I need to get these repaired soon because I don't have AirPods. I might get them for my birthday. My birthday is actually next Saturday, so uh, on the 8th. I need to get these repaired, but obviously you can use AirPods or like um, if you if you have like wire, like headphones with wires and use those. Really anything just to like concentrate because sometimes if you live in a house with like multiple people, like right now my parents are working their business from home and they have to do a lot of Zoom meetings and stuff like that so with their clients and so a lot of times they're talking when I'm ta when I'm here like trying to study like it's been like that since like we've gone into quarantine but um so it's a little bit difficult to concentrate so I was using these a majority of the time until one of the sides broke in the middle of like, April I think I've been trying to use these again during my summer class just because I want like extra quiet but these are really helpful. I like these a lot. I'm definitely gonna get those fixed soon. Next thing you need is hand sanitizer, obviously. Obviously you wouldn't bring this kind of hand sanitizer. I mean, you could bring it in your backpack pocket. I mean, like on the side pockets, like where water bottles fit. That's what I've been doing because I've been leaving some in my car and then like when I go somewhere to study or have my backpack with me, I just like put it in there to take it out because the heat in Texas is insane. Yeah, so this is the one I use in my car. I have like small Bath and Body Works ones and like you can get some at Target, Walmart, I think, and then like any other store that like you can get them at 7-Eleven too. We got, that got some over there a while ago. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. It is very important. Make sure you're taking all the precautions needed to stay healthy. Next thing I recommend is staying hydrated with water. I have a hydro flask, as you can see. Sometimes I bring a Yeti, it wouldn't be in my backpack. This doesn't fit in the pockets of my backpack on the side. I use hydro flask, Yetis, and then sometimes I use a Starbucks cup. Your brain and your body need water. And then along with that, I wanted to mention like energy drinks or some kind of form of caffeine or coffee if you really need it. Like, make sure you have that handy. So if you accidentally like oversleep or you like sleep in toward like a class time, and you really just need to wake up you have like that energy boost this might be an essential to me just because i'm a business major but i know most colleges will have you take like a college algebra class regardless of what your major is so i think it is very important or i think it's very important to have a calculator make sure you have a calculator and make sure you charge it. Last thing you want to happen is like you're in, in the middle of an exam that you're taking online and then all of a sudden your calculator dies like, and if you don't want to eat something but you still want to feel like you're like eating something, get some gum. I like the Trident one. This is the one I have in my backpack right now with my classes and then me starting at a new school in the fall and financially and stuff like that so um, I'm just a little bit stressed and stuff but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, I have a few more, I have like some more content that's relating to back to school season coming out for you guys pretty soon. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. Like I said, they'll be right here on the screen somewhere. I really hope you guys enjoy, like I said, and don't forget to enter my back to school giveaway. Uh, I will link that in the iCards. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!